Hello and welcome to the next video of CII SSP certification training, domain one, security and risk management. Key risk indicator or KRI is a metric or metrics that are used to provide early warning of a possible risk exposure. We use KRIs to capture the possibility of the risk and understand that is about to happen. So we have the opportunity to respond and do something about it. On the other hand, key performance indicator or KPI is used to measure the effectiveness of your security control. When you are implementing a control for a risk, you want to make sure that it is working the way that it should. It's actually minimizing the risk. Otherwise, the control is not effective. KPIs are used for that particular purpose. Let's try to explain this with an example. In example number one, assume that we have in our company, we have uh, firewalls and we see normally 1000 malicious requests being blocked on average coming from the internet sources. So what we do, we define the number 700 as the low threshold and number 1300 as the high threshold. And when we see the sessions blocking number drops to the low threshold or reaches to the high threshold that is a risk indicator. So if it drops to the low threshold, that is a possibility of firewall is not functioning properly, right? So it's allowing all the traffic uh, and it's not blocking anything. So that's, that's uh, the risk that we're looking at. And when it reaches the high threshold, there is a risk of a targeted attack or a DDoS attack or something that we uh, see lots of lots of blocking uh, requests on the actual firewall. On example number two, assume that on average, we have 500 to 600 emails reported by the employees as phishing emails every day. We define the thresholds again, the low threshold to 300 and the high threshold to 900. So we say if the number drops to 300 or reaches to 900, there is a possibility of a risk and is an indication of a risk. The lower threshold, the lower number could be related to the lack of user awareness. So users are not reporting emails, uh, phishing emails the way that they should. And the higher uh, number could be the indicator of some targeted phishing attacks, like people are receiving lots of lots of phishing emails. So there could be something wrong there. So that's how we really define the uh, KRIs um, and KPIs.